All right. Got my 4S pack here. It's charging it up to uh, 16 volts. Let's see, we're just around 15. Five six, five seven. This little thing is working okay. Oh, it just switched into its constant voltage charging mode, where it keeps the voltage the same. The battery charge indicator is kind of doesn't really tell you what's in the battery so much as what you've put into it, but. Uh, it does kind of work. A little gauge on the left. You can see your voltage coming in. I've just got a little wall wart. Putting about one amp into this, and about, and it says it's putting out 10, 11 volts, but it's a 13 and a half volt little wall wart that does one amp, and then that's getting. pumped up a bit to 16 at just under 1 amp. And it seems to be able to increase the voltage without losing a ton of current, but oh, see it just shut off there and then it went back to CC mode. And then it varies the voltage. Oh, it says it's just about, just about at uh, the 16 volt threshold that I set. I just wanted to kind of see what it would do. So when it hits the threshold that you want, this little bar comes on. And I want to see if it shuts off on its own or what it does. I've set the fan speed a little lower than normal because it is kind of annoying on high and I know it doesn't really need it I mean it's stone cold, it's freezing cold could probably turn the fan off but it's a setting you can turn a fan off but yeah, when I hit 16 volts it should shut off and it's gone from oh, it's clicking onto its constant voltage and then OK again every so often and real world we're at about 15.57 I've got this thing set at 16 it seems like it's plus or minus about a volt whatever you set on it, it just kinda does its own thing anyway so I mean you can set these parameters but it there's no point in setting the voltage coming in because that just goes all over the map you can set it but there's no point and then you just set the voltage for the battery I mean I've got it constant voltage and it's still the voltage is adjusting a little bit so I mean voltage still isn't constant so you know they tell you it's MPPT but it's not really I mean is it even a buck converter no it's really a boost converter but it seems to be able to step up a little bit, a couple volts higher, and not be too terribly inefficient, um, according to what it says. I mean, this is just one amp coming in, so I don't have anything else to plug into it right now. But when I get some more juice, um, well, I mean, I could hook another battery to it, lead acid or something, but we're not going to bother with that. Anyways, when I get some more cells, we'll do some more. Try some different stuff, and I'm gonna try a little bit of a different power meter setup for DC to DC versus this one. Uh, maybe something without a fan that just does DC to DC and doesn't do charge control. But this will be good for this will be good for a booster pack. I'm gonna run a little DC booster pack. Uh, I'm probably going to set it up so I can plug the battery in to either side, uh, depending on if I want to, you know, pull from the battery or whether or not I want to charge it up using this thing. I uh, just have two sets of plugs. 
or just have you know the same plug on each thing so I can just swap it out you know and then it doesn't matter if you mix them up then it just won't charge so I mean, you can go battery to battery or you can go uh, panel solar panel to battery uh, so I mean as long as you don't uh, put your solar panel panel on the battery side I mean but obviously we're not going to do that so uh, I think we're just about done. Good for this video. There we go, we got four of the Panasonic 3.7 volt nominal lithium ion cells and a 4S. I have a BMS on there right now, but all the cells were balanced before I started. I'm putting so little amps in, I'll just have a look after and see. If they charged up the same, I'll worry about balance charging when I get a BMS with a balancer to put on this thing, and then I make this into a little little 16 volt pack. Might uh, wind up getting a few more of these and going for 7S, but for now we're just going to go with the DC to DC and be running mostly 12 volt stuff off of it. And it'll be a higher, I'll be able to dial the voltage in if I want a bit more voltage for charging like a lead acid or something. can easily go from 16 down to 4.8 uh, with this little box here. Uh, yeah, it seems to be just about done making it 16 volts. So we've got about 0.4 left to go. So there we go.